<clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I don't use a lot of pod systems. I find myself in a few situations, like throughout my weeks, where a pod system is just fantastic. And I have a few pod systems that I really do love. Things like, you know, the Kilo 1K, I really like. That Juno pod, I really like. Even bigger devices like that Lost Vape Orion, or I've been using this Orchid quite a bit lately as well. I'm just over Overall, not a real heavy, heavy user of pod systems. And so a few weeks ago, I get this Soren Edge in the mail and I, and I set it up and I fill it up and I'm like, wow, these batteries pop in and out and that's so great. And I started using it and I was like, wow, this is, I'm having a great vape right now. Like this is spectacular. And because I don't use pod systems very much, I kind of gave this to my beautiful, beautiful wife, Casey Pickle, for her to like, use and torture test. At home, she vapes her Hexome with a Recoil Rebel, but all the rest of the time, all of the rest of the time when she's traveling or at work or at shows, pod systems. Pod systems all day long for her. So I had the utmost confidence that she would test this and really put it through its paces and kind of just, I was just looking for notes, you know, like like some feedback. How was the charging process? Did you, you know, did you lose the batteries in your purse with multiple batteries? And she was using this red one so much that she said, do you have any more batteries? And I said, sure thing. We have a black kit as well with four with two more batteries and not only that the little batteries are interchangeable so if you want to use this red battery on this so if you want to use this red battery inside of this black housing you can do that and it works additionally when you put the batteries in here they get you get a little bit of a light show there it lights up all the colors now these batteries are USB-C charge which I, I really prefer I wish everybody would move to USB-C I love that they are just little 230 ma or milliamp hour little batteries so you're not going to get an insane battery life from them but the kit does come with two batteries so you can use one and charge one and swap it when you need it and that's fantastic now there were two big gripes that Casey Pickle came back to me with one of them is kind of a legitimate gripe I have the same gripe with it and one of them is I don't know the only way I can describe it is like a comedic gripe but I'll, I'll explain it in a second so the first gripe she had was with the filling process this is the same gripe that I have with this same pod when you really get down on this pod you can see right here that it is just one single bottle sized hole with nowhere for air to escape. When you're filling up a pod, you're not just filling it with liquid, you're displacing the air that's in there. And if the air has nowhere to go, then it's gonna make the filling process a bitch. I mean, the bitch of all bitches, I, I, I hate it, it's terrible. And on top of the air having nowhere to go, there's a big chamber in here, and I'm gonna try to get you a picture of this, but where the air comes in, there's a big chamber in there that houses your little coil and it almost segments the pod into like two different sides like two different sides of the chamber when you put your little juice bottle in here and you start squeezing it fills up one side of the chamber what the hell okay it's just pouring juice out of the tip that's new Let's try filling it like this. Now, juice is still going to come out of the mouthpiece, 100%. There's a droplet. There's a little droplet right there. Hi, juice. We all see this little droplet coming off right there. Filling these pods isn't the easiest process. It's always a little bit messy and always a little bit of a battle and just to get the pod all the way full. Sometimes one side will fill up faster than the other side, so you kind of have to do one of these, like get the juice to where it needs to go and get some bubbles going so that you can fill this up the rest of the way. And every time I fill up the Soren Edge, I, I know there's gonna be liquid in the airflow holes right there, so I kinda, I give it a little bit of a flick like this. Sometimes, most of the times, into a towel. I just give it a flick, clear that juice out of there, still just a little bit gurgly, might need some more hot flicking action. <clears throat> And now your pod is full and free of any sort of gurgling or anything like that. When it's fully filled up, which this isn't fully filled up, I don't know that I've ever been able to fully fill up this pod. It holds one and a half mils of juice, which 
for a pod system doing you know low voltage mouth to lung type of stuff you're not going to be blowing through juice and this just drops in here magnetically and actually holds on real well too the batteries hold on surprisingly well also even though it's just a magnetic connection in there i've never had a problem like with them accidentally falling out like that i mean you can just uh, like whip this down and shoot that battery out but the odds of you making like this aggressive quick motion to flip that battery out is, is pretty slim to none. There's just one feature on this Soren Edge that you kind of have to just be aware of. And I'm putting it out there so that nobody gets as confused as my wife did. And I just want to say before I start the story, my wife is incredibly intelligent. She is far, far smarter than I am. But one thing that this Soren Edge has is a five off, five on button kind of disguised into the side here. It's just a tiny, tiny little barely protruding button and that's the power on, power off. One, two, three, four, five, you get a little light show and it's off. One, two, three, four, five, you get a green light show and it's back on. I've discovered that now, but a few nights ago, my wife came home visually, like visibly upset and she just hands me all the sore and stuff in like one hand she's like here like this is your problem now and i was like wait what what's going on i thought you really liked this thing what's wrong with it nothing works nothing works she says the batteries don't work all the batteries are charged i put the batteries in it gives me the little light show and then nothing happens when i take a drag and i can't get any of the pods to work with any of the batteries that work with any of these batteries and it's just and i'm so frustrated and here and just take it so i thought well shit all right well this is going to be a tough video to do especially if all of the Soren edges that we have are broken turns out they were not broken they're just five on five off and she had turned them off in her defense all of the pod systems that she uses none of them have a five on five off in fact none of the pod systems that I use with the exception of like the lost vapor Orion or the orchid has a five on five off my kilo 1k isn't a five on five off my Juno pods aren't a five on five off and the Rinco Cedo that Casey has been using almost exclusively for the past few months it's not a five on five off either in fact the hexome that she uses when she's vaping at home is not a five on five off either so she has been going like months and months without ever dealing with a five on five off button and none of her other pod systems have it so why would this one have it why would why would she look for that on here so i get where her confusion came from and even when she brought them home to me and i was like you're right none of them work dude this is bullshit i was getting all you know fired up with her i'm like yeah dude that sucks like this was vaping so good and now look none of the batteries work five on five off just just be aware of it but even after all of that even with the slightly leaky fiddly way that you have to fill this pod even with the five on five off that we're all well aware of now so we don't think our Sauron edge kits are broken and even with the little bit of play that you get in the batteries every battery that I put into these there's just Boop, boop, boop. you can hear it clicking back and forth there's just a little bit of play on it they stay in there there's just a little bit of play so after all of that stuff the Soren edge vapes awesome vapes really very very well I would almost put it on of uh, as high of a level of like vape quality experience as like the Caliburn, which is like the best pod vape I've had in a really long time. This could give the Caliburn a run for its money in the way that it vapes. It's just very rich, very satisfying, and it's got that little bit of just crackle, that little bit of crackly noise in the, in the pod there. I love it. I love the crackle. I live for the crackle. Crackle is life. It's a real nice, flavorful, real tight mouth to lung. Overall, this is a great, great pod system. If you're a Juul user and you don't like being tied to that 50 milligram and you're looking to lower your nicotine levels, which I'm a huge proponent of, the Soren Edge is one of those sort of like introduction into vaping, like 
it's a little bit different of a pod. Now you have like a replaceable, rechargeable battery and you're gonna get a little bit more battery life out of it and it's a little bit bigger and you can lock it and you can lower your nicotine. This is one of those devices that if you are a jeweler, that this is the very next logical step in my opinion. It's also only around $24 for a kit, so no real vape budget hands necessary. That's kind of right in line with a lot of other pod systems as well. I think the Jewel is close to around that same price. Anyway, that, that is too much rambling. I have to wrap this up, but I have to give you one single last gripe that isn't going to affect very many people, but it just affects me every once in a while. If you're a person that likes to go maybe a little bit extra on, on your mouthpiece here for, for a pod system, like maybe it just goes a little bit too far into your lips, you can easily cover the airflow. The airflow comes from this little tiny, tiny little gap right here, right where your pod kind of meets the battery housing. It's just a little notch on both sides and it's right up there, right up towards the top. No airflow is coming from anywhere else on the side around the battery, it's up here. So like I said, if you go a little bit crazy on your pods, you could cover up this airflow maybe with your lips, maybe. It's only happened to me a few times, but it's still one of those things that I have to be aware of. Like, all right, Nick, pull it out of your mouth a little bit, brah. But anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Links are not allowed in the description. You're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, five on, five off. You'll be good to go. It's the Soren Edge. And yeah, let's keep on vaping, guys.